Hi, my name is Mackenzie. I'm an intern for Chartwell's Dining, and today we're going to be doing a tour of the Pomfret Dining Hall. Um, we also refer to it as the Food Hall at Pomfret. It also used to be known as Pomfreteria, but <laughs> it's got a facelift now, so we're not even going to call it that anymore. Um, really quickly, I just wanted to show you guys, we've got so many new seating options down below. So before you eat, feel free to study, and then when you get hungry, walk on upstairs. Yeah. Got a good little makeover. Yeah, we were last here July 15th, and it's yeah. made quite a bit of a uh, improvement since then. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. So, why don't you join me? We're gonna just go head first. Um, right behind me, we've actually got the salad bar, so we'll have plenty of healthy options. Um, most of our dining halls have salad bars, um, sandwich stations, we will have a, um, a green table that will offer a lot of gluten-free, all of the fun stuff options. And then we've got pizza stations and everything. But right here, we've got the salad bar. Um, we'll be doing fresh veggies, all that fun stuff. Do you have any favorite dishes? Honestly, everything in the salad bar, their bell peppers are always so crispy and cold. <laughs> so that's like my go-to, definitely my favorite. Um, We've got the sandwich station right behind me as well, where, where we'll be doing like fresh bread and even cookies every single day. So the aroma in here will be spot on. <laughs> yeah, it'll, it'll be really good. We have a couple people tuning in. Let us know where you're from. Yeah. We're excited to uh, have you coming here this fall. For sure. For sure. And like, because this is Pomfret Dining Hall, we will be the closest to Adohi dormitories. And then Pomfret also has a lot of students living here as well. So we're really excited about that. And excuse the couches for now. We're really pumped. They're gonna be installed soon. And what day can people start coming to eat here? August 17th. Yeah, so really quickly, we've got, pardon the beeping. <laughs> um, we've got panini makers right here. This is where the bread and the cookies will be, so all of the yummy stuff. Mm -hmm. um, if you follow me around here, we actually are gonna have some hand-scooped ice cream, which is a first at a dining hall, so we're really excited about that. And most of the stations here are going to be build your own, so you get to customize it. Um, and it's just really great because whenever you're a student, you know, having that option of changing things up is awesome. So sure. ice cream is gonna be great. We're pumped about it. And then we're going to have our dessert station, which we've, we're going to have like, you know, the go-tos, brownies, cookies, all that fun stuff. Got to gain that freshman 15. <laughs> and then we'll have two soups a day. And these will sh switch up pretty frequently as well. So you, we promise or hope that you will never get burnt out on anything. And can you come in any time of the day or are there specific times? Yeah, open? so most of the time. So we'll have breakfast, lunch, and dinner at Pomfret. Um, and depending on the time of the day, depends on which, which station you're going to want. Mm -hmm. You know, so breakfast will have our omelet station, which I can show you guys. And then lunch, pasta, pizza, dinner, pasta, pizza. We'll have the green table, salads, all that fun stuff. Nice. Yeah, so I'll actually take you guys to um, the green table where we've got our registered dietitian and one of our um, dietetics interns. And they'll kind of hand that off so that way they know a little bit more about it. Go for it. <laughs> Hi, my name is Natalie, and I'm in the wellness intern here at Chartwells, and this is my boss, so just your dietitian, <laughs> actually me. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're really excited. Pomfret has just gotten a green table, which means that um, it's made to uh, made to order, um, and we'll have um, vegan, vegetarian options. Um, if you have a food allergy restriction or intolerance. Um, you can talk to them about it, talk to Ashley about it. We can organize meals to accommodate you here at the green table. Um, this is where you'll be able to talk to, um, and, I'm sorry, <laughs> scary, <laughs> an allergen um, specialist too about any preferences you need at once you meet with Ashley. Um, we'll also, to accommodate allergies, um, we use Dine on Campus where you can see the different ingredients used in each food, and that's across all dining halls on campus, not just here and not just at the green tables. So if you have a really unique allergy, you can always check those labels that we upload on there. Um, and then of course, always talk to Ashley and the chefs in the dining halls just to communicate for your safety. Um, yeah, yeah, so if, you, uh, if you've got food allergies, we actually love it when you speak up and you talk to us. Um, it helps us do our jobs so much better. It helps 
of our guests and our students actually be able to dine safely. Um, and I did want to mention that the green table, um, every single menu item that is offered there uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, we actually remove wheat, gluten, tree nuts, peanuts, and shellfish. Wow. So, um, you, if you've got any of those allergies, you automatically have an option to eat um, without even having to really have a conversation with anybody. So that's nice. Yeah. What are some of the more common requests you get when it comes to specific types of food? Um, I could think anything that tends to include a top eight food allergen, which mm -hmm. I just mentioned uh, four of those. It's actually not a top eight allergen, but um, so soy quite a bit, eggs and milk are kind of the other three. And then we also have fish too. So I would say those are probably the most common, but I get lots of other requests too. So even if your allergen falls outside of those top eight, that's okay. Just feel free to speak up and send me an email. Um, you can reach me at diet at uark.edu. Awesome. Yeah. And we also Great. accommodate food preferences, not just allergies. So that's just another conversation to have. And we'll be having the gluten-free ice cream cones that you can still enjoy. Um, and then all vegetables in this dining hall can be sauteed for you um, if you just communicate with someone working that station and they'll take care of that. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you, guys. You're welcome. I have a question for you, actually. Yeah, for sure. Um, can you tell us a little bit about meal trays? Yeah, so here we would use a meal swipe, um, and that's where if you've got like Plan 10, Plan 15, Unlimited, um, you'll use a swipe to get in. It's all you can eat, and that will just take off one. So if you had 10 meal swipes, now you've got nine after you've eaten here. And then meal trays are a lot like meal swipes, but instead of eating at a dining hall, you would go to, let's say, Chick-fil-A for breakfast. You can trade your swipe for a combo meal, um, and that would count as one of your 10. So if you've got 10, now you've got nine. Nice. Yeah, nice. so they're pretty interchangeable. Well, there's so much beeping happening right here. I know, yeah. Why don't we, well, I'll keep moving. <laughs> yes, that let's keep good. rolling with it. So <laughs> over here, we've got our pizza, pasta, and breakfast station. So, um, one really great thing that we're super pumped about is that the pizzas will actually be personalized. We got these awesome machines that you can, your pizza will be baked in 45 seconds. So while it sounds like, oh my gosh, we're gonna have to wait here forever, we're hoping it'll be really speedy, but that's definitely something that we're excited about. Yeah. Uh, 45 we, second pizzas, that sounds yeah. like the future. <laughs> uh, we had a question about the dining hall hours. Okay, yeah. The dining hall hours will be open breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We know the exact hours. Until 8 p.m., I think. So. 6 30 to 8. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sorry about so that. So 6 30 a.m. 6 30 so a.m. p.m. Yes. Correct. And is that true it, of all it, of the dining halls? It will close at 2 and reopen at 4. So close at 2, reopen at 4. <laughs> That's only specific to Conway. Yes. Fulbright okay. and Ruff actually stay open, open continuously. Stay open yes. throughout. Yes. Okay. Right, thank you for that question. Yeah. And we actually have our hours online as well and through the Dining on Campus app. Um, so if you're ever confused about that, definitely look there. Um, but yeah, so this station will be omelets and all that fun stuff. The best part about this place is how customizable it is, you know, so building your own and all of that fun stuff. Behind me, we'll have a ton of seating and we're really pumped about it because we've got awesome natural lighting and we've got a state-of-the-art dishwashing machine, which sounds <laughs> a little gooby, but it's okay. <laughs> We're all really excited about it. Um, it definitely helps with like the speed speed of everything. And then we've got our drink stations to our left, and there's another one as well, so you don't have to march all the way over here. I wonder if anyone's watching who was here the last few years and remembers how this used to look, because there's quite a before and after yeah. between yeah. how it used to look and how it looks now. Oh yeah, um, especially with the coloring, I think it just like, it's so much more brighter and everything. So um, we're really pumped about it. And then we actually got this conference room if we want to take a step inside. So basically this area can be used, you can rent it out. So a lot of places like at, at the library, you can rent out a room for clubs or if you want to have like a studying powwow with, friend, with friends, you can do that in this space available as well. Sweet. Um, so it's just another space that will be really nice for the students living down here. Yeah, and did you say there's going to be TVs in here yes, as well? Yes, there will be TVs in here. Um, yeah, and the seating will be obviously a little different. So, <laughs> but it's, again, this space is also 
customizable. I mean, move the chairs, whatever, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. It's an awesome space. Thanks. Yeah, we've got a good view right here, too. And if you're here during sunset, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Cape Town. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And as I recall, this is a dining hall that gets used a lot in the mornings and in the evenings because during the noontime, people are up on the hill. Yes, exactly. So Broughton. if you are up on the hill and you're like, I'm going to get out of the chaos, come down here. <laughs> <laughs> Inside um, a tip. Yes, exactly. Worth the hike. For now. sure. Yeah. So um, I'm a senior at the U of A, so I'm really pumped because I get to be here one last semester and be like, yeah, I get to see everything. Um, what do you um, study? I'm studying hospitality management. Oh. Yeah. But I've got a marketing. So oh, oh my gosh. I don't know about that. <laughs> um, I've got a marketing internship right now, so I've been enjoying that a lot. I'm like, maybe I should switch my last semester. <laughs> <laughs> So are there any new restaurants coming yeah. to the area? Yeah, we, we actually have, um, I'm going to give you guys a quick sneak peek of Pig Theory, um, which is like barbecue, all that fun stuff. And then we also have um, Hill Coffee Co., which we're really excited about. So Hill Coffee Co., we're, um, I mean, we're excited about everything. But <laughs> Hill Coffee Co., we're kind of branching out to be a little bit more local. So we'll have a company called Mountain Bird Coffee. And they will um, provide the coffee for us, and it's a really cool partnership. And we just love their values and everything, and so we're hoping to just keep that going. Um, Where will that be? And that will be right next. To the, it'll be part of the union. Okay. So, yeah, right over there by the fountain and all that fun stuff. And then we've also got Maple Hill Grill, and so if you're living over by the Maples, that will offer like a ton of sandwiches and salads and. A lot of varieties to that land. If you're over there and you don't want to hike over, um, yeah. <laughs> that was good to Yeah, it'll yeah. give you tons of variety and all that fun stuff. Sure. Um, and then now, we, are you gonna paper lantern is one that I heard of oh, too. Oh yes. Come on, tell yes. us a little about that because there's excitement around it. Yes, That's what exactly. I want to ask. So paper lantern will be replacing payway, but have no fear because it'll have a ton of variety as well, um, and it'll give you more of like a vibe of. Panna Express, so you can do like bowls and plates and all of that fun stuff. So definitely, we're pumped about that. We're excited for it, and it'll add a lot to that union. So we're excited. Did we get a question? Coming? Yeah, we had a question about what days the dining hall will be open. The days, it'll be, I think, every day of the week. Um, there will be different hours depending, I think, on weekends. Brunch. Brunch. Brunch and dinner. Yeah, brunch and dinner. Um, but definitely... We have all of that on our website as well. So if you want to print that out, maybe keep it up in your dorm. That's what I did my freshman year and it helped me a ton. Um, but again, we've got that Dine on Campus app. So if you utilize that as well. Yeah, if you use that, if you use that app, <laughs> it'll give you all the hours and what's on the menu and all that fun stuff. And then we've got um, our Instagram, which is actually food on the hill AR. And definitely go there because that will give you even more like of a clear idea of dates and what things are happening on campus and everything food go there <laughs> so we do even giveaways if i recall yes we do giveaways so that's kind of cool. pretty much so we, we do this thing called one at wednesdays so almost every single wednesday of the semester we've got it all planned out we've got things that we're really excited to give away um yeah big things too <laughs> those first couple weeks tune in go go follow us now <laughs> Um, but this is just a really quick sneak peek, um, kind of like rough draft, we're almost there. This is going to be Pig Theory. So what Pig Theory is going to, it's going to be like a big barbecue concept. It'll be what we're going to call late night. So from 6 to 10 p.m. Sunday through Thursday, it will be open, which it's, again is just like another concept that is different than a dining hall um, and it's more specific. So we're pumped about this one. Um, one really fun thing is that it should be open for future Razorback football games. So if your family's ever in town and they want to get that um, barbecue feel from different states, because we're going to be par not partnering, but trying to combine flavors from Tennessee, Missouri, Texas, Arkansas, we're kind of focusing our menu on that. So we're pumped. Sounds awesome. That copper detail, that's really yeah. cool. Yes, and it's on the outside of the building as well. So it'll look really good. 
So I heard in our office that you have a, a burrito that is has macaroni and cheese in it. Yes. It mm -hmm. has tater tots in it. Mm -hmm. what is it. Do you know what it's called? It's Mac Tater Burrito. <laughs> so like I There's said, we're no living all of the flavors. Yes. And this is actually one of the stickers that we're going to have. Um, and this will be up on the wall. Um, so if you want one of these, come find us. Food on the Hill AR. Well. Yeah. And we've just got all of the all of our inspiration, you know, because so many people are from out of state coming here, so we want to make sure we give them that barbecue feel that feels like they're at home. Where are you from? I'm from Argyle, Texas. Okay. Is that yeah. East Texas or West Texas? It's North Texas. North Texas. Northeast, okay. yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of closer to Oklahoma, University of North Texas area, but yeah. Great. What an exciting new concept. Yes, we're really, we're really fortunate. Um, it'll be, we've got a lot coming, so we're really excited about it. But yeah. Y'all have any more questions? Any more questions coming in? Not right now. Does our nutritionist have any thoughts about uh, the barbecue? All foods fake, guys. <laughs> <laughs> love it, love it. We have veggie options. Yeah. We have vegetarian options here, which is going to be great. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. Great. Well, do you mind signing us off? I do not. Um, <laughs> Moveinorg.edu. Moveinorg.edu. That's it. You got it. Go there or B Square. <laughs> and then the Chartwell's uh, website again. Yes. So we've got dining on campus. Mm -hmm. um, you are, or if you follow us on any of our social media, we've got um, Instagram, Food on the Hill AR. One thing I do want to add: if you are an incoming freshman or someone that is just hopping on to this live, we actually have a lot of um, part-time and full-time positions. One thing that I love about it, I'm an intern, and it's awesome because whenever you get a job with Chartwells, your starting base rate is ten dollars. You get a parking permit, a green parking permit, and you get non-slip shoes. So they really take care of you initially. And if you ever want to join our team, find us. We we're looking for you. <laughs> but yeah, that's about it. Awesome. Thank you guys. Yes. Thank you so much. <laughs>